say to me that you that you will walk, that you inside the question, that you will win. We're going to do the same thing. Okay, this is slow. The case I'm speaking right now is very slow. I know that a lot of people with the technique is set up. But this is a, a new group, so I don't want to go too fast. So you need people to go, uh, you don't want to do this. <laughs> One or two, you're going to like that. All right, any third step we're Okay, let's we'll try it up here. Okay. Ready? Okay. Well, that's the first three of the Sabrata that I would like to learn. The information is we are going to learn what we call an element stage. We're doing stage one right now, which is one block, one hit, and we are adding the elements of what we call agav, which is dishonest. Additionally, they went and bored. I thought I could skip around and just do a thing. I'm just doing experimentation. Okay, now this over here is called on a shield. And you have two types of ropes. This is a rope shield. This is a rope block. This is a rope shield. Now, this is a wind shield. And this is a rope shield. When it's horizontal, it's called rope. When it's down here like that, diagonal, it's called wind shield. So this is very important. Okay? Now, if she's going to attack right now with an angle one, which I will do a high wing. Or she will attack with angle three, which is a low wing. Or she will throw up. And I will block with a low wing like this. Okay. This is for close quarters. Because this block is not strong enough for heavy blows. So in other words, if I swing from here, this is the wrong deflection to use. This is at least for close quarters. So if you use a low wing like this, I will hit on the collarbone right here. Now her stick could be in a look shield or a wing shield. So it will depend on the system. Each system says, some system says this is no good, some system says this is no good. It's just like they don't pass, it's what you do the system, you're all completed. There's no good bad, but if you make it good, right? So this is the low wing, that's the shield. That's a very important part. Okay, if I tap her, that's the low wing, shield. If I throw up at her, it's the low wing, shield. This left hand is a very important training for they to have, have us put our hand like this without using this, because they didn't want you to depend on your stick. They wanted you to depend on that hand here. Okay? Because this hand here, it can scoop into uh, positions here for this hand later on, and for hand lock later on. Okay, so when you go here, that's low wing, that's shield. Now you can do it like this, or you can do it like this. This is a wing, okay, this is a wing shield, and this is a rook shield. Okay, so we take it this far. One, Two, I can strike at angle one. I can be here like this. For beginners, we like to start at angle three. The minute you hit, this is too late sometimes. Okay. So we go like that. Monitor, see my left hand? Right here. Injection, space, bang. Okay. Lock, bang, choke. Okay. Any variation that you want. That's why I always, in the first part when I was trying to introduce to the United States, a lot of people didn't want to take this out. I think it would improve your empty hand. It would improve your grappling. It will improve your trapping, but you have to be, I think, twice as quick to trap a stick like as you do in the hand. Because the stick travels faster than any part of the limb. In the hand of a beginner, it's just going to travel 50 miles an hour later. Okay, so what I want you to do is the minute you hit, monitor. So that hand is easy. Now, in the beginning, it will be like that. We want to, if you can, put the hand first. That's why in one system, they taught us how to trap. They taught us how to draw the sword to trap it. In the ancient days, the sword was here. So they always taught us to monitor the left hand here. So we always were taught to, to draw in head first. They used to swing through it here. They used to cut it here. So they had to pick the fist and do this out. The drawing of the sword and drawing the fist first. The trap, that's the first trap they teach. But they want you to monitor that hand. You see how the hand is already monitored here? This is just extra right up to here. Okay, so the first part is for about two minutes. I want you to do like that. If you strike like that, just two points. See how it comes up? Because very little, see this hand is already trapped here. All right, can you get that far? For two minutes, then we'll add the third motion on, under the trap. Okay, okay ready? Two minutes. Now, let's go on to the next one here and add one more, okay? Is this slow enough for everybody? The rope, this is the low wing, this is the shield, and then I'm going to strike her over here to give you the rope lock and then she's making it here. Yes. One, one, two, three. All right. Depending on the angle, okay. That's the first part you're going to learn. That's the low wing. That's my shield. At that point, 
I'm going to strike over here like that. She does a rope lock. Okay. She has the option because repairing from here, if I go like that and I hit with the outside inspection, that's outside inspection now. Okay. So I'm going to give you the two options. I've got two questions. One, rope lock, two, three. That's your snake. The other one, I'm going to strike over here. Okay, I'm going to strike here. That's it. Okay, you can go on as many times as possible. Low wing, shield, outside deflection, snake. Okay. Low wing. Now, the reason why this one works is because usually they step back okay, for the roof loss. Okay. One motion again. This is a low wing. This is your shield. See the angle I have? I strike overhead, which gives you a roof loss. But if I strike an angle too, I'm not that. That's outside deflection. That's right. Okay, these are the, see the snake over here? Watch the snake over here. Okay, every point in the sombrero, you can use it to choke, strangle, take down, sweep, throw, arm bar, leg bar, whatever you want to do. Or just hit. Because a lot of people like to do this. That's the hand position now. Notice how she steps back with the right foot for the rope. Okay. Alright, so we'll be here again. If I strike at angle two, which is the diagonal line, you'll see how she moves to the right side and takes it out. This is sombrata, or counter, or counter. The literal translation of sombrata would mean shape. So they say, ultra sombrata, countering shape. Okay, what adapts faster than anything in the world? Shape. You put a game, shape, you try to step on their shape, and then you step on their shape. You're coming shape to shape. Right? In fact, that's one of these three the models. What is martial art? So you respond like an echo, adapt like a shadow. Because a shadow adapts very quickly. This is countering shadow for shadow, or shade for shade. Okay? So like that's one, that's two, I'll tell you question. Okay? Over here, that's one, that's two. She steps back on that, that's a rope lock. So she steps back, I usually, usually they see that, if they see that coming back, so they always step back and use a rope lock. Okay? Any questions? Got it? All right, let's try it for three minutes, and then we'll, we'll put the whole thing together. Okay. So the first part, let's put the next one to be clear. You have one, two, three. Okay. And the first series you had was one, two, three. We join it together. One, two, three. One, two, three. The first series you learned today was Drop block, inside deflection, drop it deflection for low wing. And you strike back, low wing, shield, roll block. But now it's completed the cycle. Does it have to be in that order? No, it does not. This is just to teach you an idea of what you want to try to do. It's an example. I can slide out here, put on the clock, and put it in the clock. I say to him, in combat, your right hand is locked off. Right hand is going to lock off. Watch the bottom, left hand. Okay. Okay. Put the left hand on the left hand. Put your left hand in the two. Alright. Let me see. Let me see. At their level, they should figure out within one minute. Hopefully, three seconds out of the whole left hand. That's left hand. Okay, time. Okay, let me come up there. Left hand. It's, it's, it's good to. It's good too. Because you never can tell when you move the use of that left hand. It's very hard. It looks easy, but it's not because left hand is tough. Then you learn to go left to right, right to left. That's left hand. Okay. <laughs> let's let's left hand it. So I'm going to ask you to do it right handed so it's very simple. Okay. Right, so we go back over here again. That's right handed. You do a low block. You have that part, and inside the section, you have a low wing. From here, you can either thrust with the five. Hit with the three or hit with the one and continue the flow and there's nothing happens. You can intercept all those movements like that. So you walk on the start off very slow. One block and one hit. Right. One block and one hit. Don't hit the first three. Like they're not out there to block it. You can always take their three at a time. The rest of the block is just going to be something to do. And you go back like that. But then from here, you're going to incorporate some different angles. That's just a different angle. So that gives you a different angle. Right? Then later on, you can incorporate one, two hits. That's now going into what we call second stage, and then third stage, which is two hits. And in the first stage, you can return only one hit. 
one hit, one hit, one hit. This gives you your basic control. My instructor said usually it's a, on the seventh month I can keep it right on that. You can keep it to the group in uh, one hour. You can develop off with a very quick, one thing about the base. And he's like, have it. Okay, let's try it there. Okay, let's try it. We have just completed uh, stage one. One block, one hit. Stage one. Okay. All right. I'd like to try to do this for a minute. Now we're going to do what is called entry three. Okay. There's a heaven three, there's a heaven and earth three. The entry three is just an inverse, low backhand, high backhand. You can do this as many times as you want. This is to teach you how to enter into that lane. Now when I go in here, notice how my hand comes in here and goes into that lane. To, to stimulate long range fighting. Right? At that point, notice when I come up here to trap that line and go into that this is what we sometimes call entrada. This is retrada. It means to retreat. And entrada, we go back into here. It's just to give you the object of learning how to crash into that line. We're going into the line. So I'm going to try this for about two minutes. Okay. All right. So what is this called right now? This is counter or counter. One block and one hit. This is entrada or entry. This is not the only entry, but this is the first entry you see. But you have to come into here before you get back into the line. Okay. All right, that's what I would like everybody else to do. Okay, the people that have training before, this is what I like to do. You enter with heaven three. One, two, three. He goes outside the section. Okay. All right, back out. Now the heaven three, if you go one, two, three, I can umbrella this thing. Those are the two ways you get in from heaven three. That's the people with, if you have more than three seminars, you can see that now. Okay, that's heaven three. It looks so easy, so when this guy is really going so hard like that, hard like that, it's just to come in here. <laughs> because you have, to, you have to time it right. Okay, so right now we just go easy so that nobody will get hurt. That's entry three. The people that have training before, you go into heaven three. Okay, that's what? Right? Okay. We'll, we'll take it about three minutes around and then we'll vote. I'm going to walk out. That's the sobriety training. I'm going to take the sobriety training right here.